I've made a video on this style of small incubator and I've been recommending it a lot to folks that are wanting to, to raise their own quail. So we've never done quail eggs, so we're going to load this up. The incubator has these divider trays that slip into these grooves right here. You want to make it a little bit loose on the egg. So then we're just going to load up each row, put another divider, fill the incubator. We got them loaded up. There's 35 in here. And there's a pin that's on top of the lid. And that pin right there goes down in this hole and it turns and it makes these rotate. So you don't have to rotate them by hand twice a day. It does it automatically. As I said in previous videos, probably the only big negative is the fact that it doesn't hold a whole lot of water, so you got to check it every three or four days. And the best way is to keep a hygrometer on it. So we just use this hygrometer, which gives us a temperature and humidity. And we want that to be about 70%. And when it starts to drop, then we just open it up, add more water. So we'll get the lid on it and turn it on. You always keep the styrofoam because it helps to hold the heat in. There's no on off button, so to turn it on, just plug it in. You get the temperature in Celsius, the number of days that it's been on, and the countdown in minutes until the tray rotates again. One thing that's not in the manual, I just discovered if you want to reset the day counter, hold down the up and down arrows at the same time for about five seconds. I'll hold them down, everything turns to zero. And then the lights will flicker like that, and you can let go, the day will be zero. This will go for about 14 days, and then we will take out the tray, the moving tray, and put them into lockdown, where they will set until they hatch on about day 18. I've not messed with any of the controls, this is just like it came out of the box. This is day 14, we are going to candle them and then lock them down. So we're going to remove the lid. You're going to unplug it. Open them up. You're going to remove the hygrometer probe. Okay. Remove the slider tray, all the dividers. I'm just going to put them in this bowl and take them to a dark room to candle them. So the incubator does come with a candler built in, but we like to take ours to a windowless bathroom where it's very dark and we use this Incubrite candler. It's super, super bright and it's the best one on the market that'll help you look at quail eggs. That is not fertilized. Normally we get between 80 and 85 percent fertilization rate. Back to the incubator, we filled it up with water. We removed the slider tray, of course, and we're putting the eggs back in. This batch happened to have an 80 percent fertilization rate, which is on the low end of our range, but still a good number. Replace the hygrometer. I'm going to replace the lid, replace the styrofoam, and plug it back in. It will come on and resume right where it left off. Sometimes these guys hatch a day early, so we'll start checking in three days. Otherwise, they will be popping out in four days. Okay, they've been in lockdown for a few days. We're going to take a peek, see what we got. Well, I think we have little quailies running around in there. Ooh, look at there. So they actually decided to come a day early. We've had some warm weather. This might have been running a little bit warm. 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Okay. <laughs> they were crazy, John. 
So we got them in the brooder, which is a rabbit cage. And they have just the blue towels on the bottom. Turn, turn the light off so you can see better. They've got their water. These are special quail rims, so they can't stick their head in there and drown because they're so little. Uh, but we'll turn the heat lamp on. They're like little Mexican jumping beans. Mm -hmm, they were ready to get out. Goodness. There's a few that need some help getting open. We'll do that. We know if we don't help, there's a 100% chance they will die. So at least they have a shot. There we go. You're getting stuck, weren't you? Oh, I am sorry. I know this is going to hurt a little. Just drying out. Drying out inside. Can't get out. We'll put them back in the incubator. Turn that oh. on. So we'll check the other eggs and see what our final number is. Final numbers. We started with 35, we had 28 that were fertilized, and 21 finally hatched. Those are pretty good numbers for us. That's a 75% hatch rate of the fertilized eggs and a 60% overall. We're very happy with this little thing. If you're thinking about getting into quail and you want to replenish your stock from time to time, which you need to do, and the price of an incubator is keeping you from getting in, check this thing out. Right now, at the time I'm filming this, $52. Very, very affordable. That's less than the price of buying more birds to replace your quail. If you're new here, click that subscribe button and the bell, and you'll be notified of new videos. Appreciate you watching. We'll see you soon on the homestead. Bye.